Hi, I'm Simon Jowett. I'm the head professional here at Grimsby Golf Club. We're here today on our fourth hole to show you how to drive the ball into the wind. Okay, with a normal drive, and we don't have to contend with the wind, we would position the ball very much in line with the left foot. Nice high tee peg, so there's about half the ball above the club face. What that will do is promote an upward strike into the ball, creating loft, launching that ball nice and high without too much backspin. The ball lands maximum distance and then runs out as well. Into the wind, it's very different. What we're going to try and do is a couple of different changes within the setup that will help promote that lower launch that we need into that stiff breeze. Okay, so the first item is going to be ball position. Rather than position the ball off that left foot, we're going to move it back two inches, slightly more central in the stance. That will help to promote a slightly steeper angle of attack and again control the launch angle. We're going to move the tee peg down into the ground a little bit further so that there's about a quarter of the ball above the club face. We're going to narrow the stance down very slightly, keeping that ball, remember, around two inches from the inside of that left heel. And finally, the grip tension. We're going to go very slightly firmer with the hands. What that will do is allow us to control the loft that impacts. Softer hands generally means it helps to create that little bit of loft that we don't necessarily need in this particular shot. Okay, let's have a go. Okay, there we go. Although you can't see the ball flight, you should be able to see that much lower launch, that ball staying very low to the ground as it sets off on the tee peg.